Today, beautiful outside, but I have something that I want to explain on my desk. It has everything to do with Instagram and how you can schedule the posts that you want to post, the pictures especially, with a tool for free and you don't even have to use your phone, which is the classic old school route to schedule to Instagram. So let's get right into it and sit down on my desk for that. Now that we are sitting here, let me explain a couple of things that I want to talk about today and also why I think this is a really big deal. The company that I use for my Instagram scheduling is called Buffer. They initially were one of the first companies that actually allowed you to schedule on Twitter. So you could just post something on the Buffer feed and you can like put it into your queue and you have a schedule set up, which is very convenient that you have like daily schedule and like you want to post three uh, three times on Monday and you want to post four times on Tuesday and kind of like that and you just put posts into the queue and it then distributes them on those dates in order that you post them. So it kind of takes the work off that that you have to uh, always put a new schedule and always put a date and a time to each post and that's where Buffer got created and that's where they come from. Nowadays they also give you the ability to schedule to LinkedIn, Facebook, Google+, as well as Pinterest and of course Instagram. Instagram is actually very different from all the other services because most of those services actually allow Buffer to just post the post for you. One of the ways these services were able to do this and Buffer also has this ability is you schedule your post inside Buffer, it sends you a notification. Once you get that notification, you open it up, it automatically copy and pastes the description for you. It opens up Instagram, downloads the picture and po uh, you can just paste your description put the picture and it's automatically on there. And that also means that you're bound to times that you're actually awake. And for me, it's a really big deal that I can schedule posts when I'm actually sleeping because sometimes I wanna have the posts go online on my home base time zone or my home time zone where I kind of like know that that's a good engagement time. If you wanna do something like this, then you actually want to use a service like Buffer that can schedule on your own. But Instagram now has the ability for business profiles that you can actually schedule the posts automatically through a tool like Buffer and you don't have to be there at all. This only works for photos and it only works for Instagram business profiles. I'm not going to explain how you can set up your Instagram profile as a business profile, but I'm going to have a link in the description that explains how you can do that. And if you have the fear that your business profile will maybe get less interaction, at least Instagram has made public that they don't do that kind of stuff, that they don't treat Instagram uh, business profiles differently from personal profiles. I have seen other people that claim that it's not the case that Instagram business profiles are getting less engagement than normal profiles. Personally, I have it set up as a business profile and I like it because all the statistics that I'm getting and of course this ability to schedule posts with a tool like Buffer. Now let's take a look at the Buffer website and see how you can schedule your posts for Instagram automatically on there. First things first, if you open up Buffer and the website, you will see this kind of like greeting message and also how the whole system works. They have a couple of videos. They have a couple of different services, which is one is the scheduling service, which is called Buffer Publish. They also have Buffer Reply, which is really cool, but it's kind of expensive, where you can actually do kind of like reply to comments and reply to messages on your Facebook page and all this kind of stuff in one inbox, which is really streamlined, but it's not necessarily what we are looking at for today. And then Buffer Analyze, which kind of explains itself, which is a service where you can analyze your statistics, engagement rates, and stuff like that. But what we want to look at is Buffer Publish. And Buffer Publish is the service that is generally known as just Buffer. So you end up on this page and as it says, save time managing social media for your business because you can schedule your posts and you can actually get started for free. This is one of the big aspects in this. They of course have a pricing page because they're not a like free service completely, but they have a free plan. I personally use the standard plan pro, which allows me to schedule and manage a couple of more plans and also schedule more posts per platform. And you might also notice that you can actually use Pinterest on this plan, which I'm not really using, but it gives you this ability. I personally would recommend you to get the free plan in the beginning of course because you can schedule on up to three profiles which if you have Facebook, Twitter and Instagram those are three profiles and also you can schedule up to 10 posts which means on each of those networks you can post twice a day for five days and you don't have to look at it again. Uh, if you want to do just one post a day you can schedule up to 10 days in advance and that's no problem at all and I think that's a great way to get started on this platform. As you grow, you can upgrade, of course, and I, as I mentioned, I'm using the uh, pro plan with up to eight profiles and I can schedule up to 100 posts per thing, but I don't really use that many anyways. 
Signing up to the service is really simple. You just enter an email address and a password and you're ready to go. Once you are in the Buffer profile, you can see something like this. It's basically just asking you to connect the services that you want to use with the platform. For us, right now, I'm focusing on the Instagram connection, so we can just click the connect button on here and then we will be guided through the process. Log in with our Instagram credentials. I'm actually going to use one of my inactive accounts that I kind of use for testing purposes. So don't be confused if this is not the account that I actually use in the description below. If you want to follow me on Instagram, just hit that link in the description. It's at Chris Spiegel. Once we log into Instagram, we might end up at the screen. And I say might because sometimes it doesn't really get there. If you have to verify your account with, for example, a code that you receive via email, then you might not end up here, but instead end up on your normal Instagram profile page. If you end up just on Instagram, then you just go back at buffer.com slash app and then you can just hit the connect button again it will ask you to log in again and then you end up on the screen here we're going to hit authorize because we want to give uh, buffer the ability to access this profile as you can see we have to convert this profile to a business profile because that is not the case right now if i click this then it kind of like guides me through this way of how can i do this how can i convert this profile to a business profile basically what you have to do is you go into your app and then you kind of like go through the settings and there you will find something that's like set up as business profile and then you have to connect it to a facebook page i'm going to do this for this profile but you can follow the on-screen instructions if your profile is not a business profile yet. Once you're done converting your profile to a business profile, you might notice that Instagram doesn't necessarily enforce having a Facebook page. You can also skip that page. The thing is, Buffer needs to verify that you actually have connected a Facebook page. So please make sure that you connect a Facebook page to your Instagram account. At least right now, that's still a requirement. Once you've done that, you can click this button that says, I'm, I have connected my Instagram account uh, to a Facebook page and continue. Then they are going to check if that actually is true and they are going to ask you for login information with Facebook to authenticate that that is actually the case. Once you've authorized Buffer with a Facebook login, they're going to ask you to set up the reminders. However, that is a little bit of a design flaw because it's not actually going to ask you to set up the reminder just yet because Instagram, as I said before, it's a little different than the other networks. On other networks, this would be working straight away because they don't really need you to set up anything else. With Instagram, we actually have to do a couple more steps, which means we have to download the app to the iPhone or the Android device, which is the Buffer app, and we have to set up that link as well. So they know that we could also set up the reminders through the phone and make the scheduling manually over there. This is kind of a residual in the Buffer setup process that is from the old way, how we could only uh, schedule posts with the Buffer app to Instagram. But now we actually have the ability to schedule directly through Buffer. They just still enforce you to have the Buffer app installed or at least log in once with it to set up this way of scheduling as well. So what we have to do here is we just hit continue and then they're going to advise you to get the app. And with the app, we would just have to log in once. And that's literally it. You just download the app from the App Store and the first thing you do is log in with your credentials that you set up in the beginning and you're good to go. You just hit continue on the website and then you end up on the Buffer interface, which you can just post the first photo to Instagram and automatically have it scheduled on your timing. Now, a couple of things about the interface of Buffer. You will see that you have the queue, you have posts, and you have settings. With the settings, I would give you the tip to actually look into the posting schedule. The posting schedule is what I've mentioned before. It's kind of like this automatic posting in advance. So as a standard, they set you up with about four posts per day, and I wouldn't necessarily like that. I will just remove all of those. And that's really easy. Just keep clicking the X next to the times because I think four posts is actually quite a lot for Instagram and I have a hard time keeping up with that kind of schedule. But I would like, for example, let's say I would like to post every day at 5, 10 p.m. as an example. And you add up that timing and then it's automatically that it's every day at that time. Now, if you go back to the queue, you will find that there's nothing really changed. If you have the premium account, you will actually see the empty spots there on the list as well. But now we can schedule a post and you will see what the effect of that would be. To schedule a post, you can just drag and drop a photo right into the field that is right there. And you can, of course, write a description and they also support the location tag. Right now, the Instagram interface doesn't actually allow you to tag people in the photos. You can still tag them in the description, though. But when you write descriptions in Instagram, we all have to be careful that we don't do a space at the end. 
and that the new lines have some kind of a character, for example, a dot. So make sure that you don't have a space at the ending and you fill the empty line with some kind of character. Once you're done with this, you can of course also add a location, which in this case would be Hof Germany. And then it will bring up the list. You can choose one of those and you just hit add to queue. The alternative to add to queue would also be to share it now or to schedule the post for a specific date and time. I like to do that with other kinds of postings, but with this, I would like to just set up a queue and fill it up. So add to queue is what I want to do. Once you hit that post button, you will actually notice the editor stays open so you can schedule multiple posts one after another. But if we exit the editor, for example, just hit anything outside of the editor field, you will notice that the post shows up on the page and it shows up as a time 5.10 p.m. BST, which is the time zone that this account is in right now. You can also change the time zone for that kind of stuff on the posting schedule page right here where you can say time zone, in this case, London, Europe. But what you see is it's 5.10 p.m. and it is going to be tomorrow because 5.10 p.m. today is already passed. If I now add a second post, now that I have put another post here, you will find a couple of interesting things here. One, you can actually tag people with the at sign and their username, but you won't actually get a highlight or anything. They won't have an auto completion or something like that. Those things just don't work in Buffer. You will just have to make sure that you actually have the username there. You can also tag the post. You can put hashtags. They work just like normal, but again, no auto completion. With this post, however, we also notice that there is a limitation to the kinds of aspect ratios that Buffer supports. And this, for example, is a photo that is not within 4x5 to 1.91 pi 1. Uh, the normal 1x1 one one are supported, 4x5, the normal like vertical photo is supported, and also horizontal photos. But this is slightly out of that range, so it's not supported. So I can kind of like remove that photo and I have to recrop that. So what I have to do with this photo is basically open it up in Photoshop, recrop it to the 4x5 aspect ratio, and then I can upload it through Buffer, and that's what we are going to do now. Half the photo, select the crop tool, make it a 4x5, and as you notice, it's probably already very close to that, but sometimes with exporting, I don't know why that exactly happens, but sometimes it's just something that comes up with the uh, Lightroom crop tool, 4x5s and save that with the maximum quality. I like that. And now let's upload that photo. Now we've uploaded the second photo. The crop worked great. There's still the other photo as a suggested photo, but if you add two photos to this, then you will notice that due to Instagram's limitations, this actually has to be posted manually, but it actually works. So you can do that with the Buffer app and it supports all of this. But we are going to remove this one photo and just hit add to queue. Once the second post is in the queue, you will see it's going to be published on Tuesday the 4th at 5.10 p.m., just the way we've set it up. Now, this gives you the opportunity to actually schedule posts very consistently and on a time-based manner. You can do it either on a specific time or on the queue time. Now, let's actually go through the process of adding a specific time. And also, I want to mention one kind of like nitpicky thing that I found with the buffer uh, editor. And they're about to fix this, but right now it's still a problem. So just letting you know how that kind of affects me. The thing, if you see the editor as it's on the screen right now, if you write a description, let's say, hello world, and you accidentally hit anything outside the editor, it is very easy for the editor to just go away. And this can be a very annoying thing because you think like, oh, what the hell? Now my text is gone, my description that I just wrote. For one, I would actually recommend writing the description in another program and just copy and pasting it in here. That makes it a little easier, but you can also just open the uh, editor again and you will see that the text will still be there. It's actually not gone. It's just that the editor has a very, it's a, it's very flimsy and it kind of like hides away very quickly. It's kind of scared sometimes. Let's just put another photo here and I want to this time schedule it for a specific time, not 5, 10, just the next day, actually a specific time, let's say tomorrow. And once the upload is complete, you will see I had to adjust the aspect ratio once more, but it worked now. We can also go to add to queue, but we are not hitting that. We're going to hit the arrow. We can either say share now, which is kind of helpful. I like to do that if I want to uh, share something right now and just put it on Instagram without the scheduling functionality, but I don't want to transfer the photo to my phone, for example. But we're going to actually schedule the post for tomorrow at a different time. Let's say we want to post it at 9 in the morning, 9.19 a.m. London time sounds good. 
hit schedule and it's going to put it on your timeline and you will see the post right at the top because it's going to be at 919. It's a specific time. It's actually differentiable because it has this blue background behind the color and you can switch it to the buffer schedule, but you can also switch the other schedules to a custom time if you want to do that. It's kind of handy to have this kind of queue mechanism. You just queue it up and you also have always the predictable time and it's just the same every single time. It works really well for the photos that are in this aspect ratio. It doesn't work for videos. Unfortunately, that is hopefully something that Instagram opens up as an ability as well. But in general, I just love this ability. Buffer has a lot of other capabilities and features as well. For example, if you actually connect Twitter and Facebook on top of Instagram, then you automatically can post the same post to all three platforms. And that is a really handy feature because sometimes we want to have the photo on Facebook and on Instagram, for example. But we also know that cross-posting everything is not necessarily going to help you that much because you want to drive people for the photos on your Instagram and for other content on Facebook and for your text on Twitter, for example. So it's kind of like um, being aware of this and not necessarily just cross-posting everything to everywhere, but using this tool for up to three profiles for free. It's definitely something that I would recommend because it's a super helpful tool. You can do it on your computer, you can use the app on your phone, and it's very easy to just schedule the photos and they go out by themselves without you actually having to be there. Now I hope this video was helpful for you and you can schedule your posts on Instagram very easily. Just have a more consistent schedule. I'm definitely trying to keep mine. I have been telling myself I want to upload one photo per day for a long time and I haven't been able to keep that schedule up but this tool definitely gives me an ability to make this happen more consistently. It's great that it's free for the basic functionality and it's definitely something that can up your Instagram game. I would appreciate it if you hit that like button on this video to kind of let me know that this video was helpful or not. If you have any questions about the stuff that I talked about today, make sure to leave a comment down below. I usually respond within a day or two. And with all of the scheduling now, you might actually be able to spend less time on the phone because you know that you can schedule the photo and it's just going out by itself and you can enjoy nature a little more. And that's what I'm going to do right now, going into a little park, filming another video and see you tomorrow.